Hey y'all, I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective readings, okay? Like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment. It is greatly loved and appreciated, okay? God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters, all beings of light only, you're welcome into this reading. Please give the Piscean Seer Collective the best and most accurate information for them at this time. This sage is so done. <laughs> this sage is done because it won't set on fire. Let me see. I just got to like... I ordered a box of sage, but it's not here yet. <laughs> okay, so... I'm not gonna use that because this is not working. <laughs> if I work hard at it, I'll be where I want to be. Although I am burning freaking sense and I have the diffuser going, but there's hyssop in the diffuser. I don't think that does much for cleansing. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I did a pre pool. Okay. This is. I'm gonna use notes. I did a pre-pool because I was like, what the hell is going on here? Okay, so um, I got the where I want to be lyrics, okay, the paper planes lyrics, and then a turtle, a money tree, a mushroom, Buddha, an elephant, and like one, two, three, four, five numbers, okay? <laughs> so let's see what they talking about. But this pre-pool is like kind of interesting, okay? It's the Ace of Wands, okay, which talks about like, you know, new beginnings, good news, um, or physically starting something, you know, or some sort of, like, creative spark, you know. But I really get, like, a crazy, like, love energy from this shit. But I think it's just because of, like, the where I want to be. It's like... <sighs> okay, so then I got, um, what is this? The Nine of Wands, I think. Yeah, it's the Nine of Wands, okay. It says battle weary okay like you could be just like okay be it love or just regular life you know what I mean just like holding on to the shit you know for all you still got you know like just really trying to be this emperor or empress out here because the emperor and the empress came out okay but in the middle of it in the middle of the emperor and the empress is you know the knight of swords okay so maybe the emperor and the empress are coming together real soon you know but then it starts talking about um a choice okay you know two paths you know a choice and then the seven of cups came out okay which is just more choice okay it's like you have all these choices you know all these ways that you could go you know you could be someone that quite a few people are interested in you know and only one of them is your emperor or empress you know so you could have to start saying you might need to make some choices hey hey i think that was amazon <laughs> Spirit saying you might need to make some choices, okay? Um, it says then then the King of Wands came out, okay, which was which were, was where I was like, okay, so there's another person here, okay? So you know, it's like, do you want the person who's going to always be in charge of you, always telling you what to do, always trying to run shit, you know, or do you want someone that's going to come in and be a team with you, that's going to work hard with you, build with you, okay? <laughs> um, you know, you want someone that's loyal, you know, someone who's optimistic, you know, but I don't know, maybe I feel like this could be... A description of this emperor too i got a lot of aries out here okay there's a lot of aries there's one two three four different cards with the, this aries energy on it okay <laughs> and then there's then the aquarius a taurus scorpio and cancer But, you know, I really feel like at this point, like, the signs are not important. Like, they're so important, but they're not important. You know what I mean? They're just, it's just that a lot of us contain, you know, different parts. Like, I am learning about myself that I am, you know, a lot of Capricorn, a lot of Leo. You know what I mean? Um, definitely <laughs> um, some Libra in there. You know what I mean? So, it's like everybody all these signs make up a little bit but this person might literally be an Aries sun sign okay <laughs> or you could be 
And then the last card that came out was the Two of Cups, okay? Love, you know, partnership, unity, love, compatibility, a happy couple, okay? So, I mean, that could be what's coming towards you. I am going to look up these where I want to be lyrics because I don't feel like this is, I don't feel like you guys are together. I mean, although I know where I want to be by heart, okay? <laughs> um... I don't know. I just, I just feel the need to look at the lyrics right now. And I've been singing this shit like ever since yesterday when I came because like I write these notes like I'll just drill out all of these notes. You know what I mean? Spirit will give it to me all at once, you know, and then I have to like separate it and figure out, OK, well, what, <laughs> you know what I mean? I just write these little lines. OK, and then go to the next one. OK, so um, when I finished the one yesterday I looked at it and I just started singing where I want to be and I sang it all day yesterday okay all this morning I was singing this damn song hold on let me see if something came to the door <sighs> nothing came to the door okay so it says I said I left my baby girl a message saying I won't be coming home I'd rather be alone she doesn't fully understand me that I'd rather leave than to cheat. If she give me some time, I could be the man she needs. But there's a lot of lust inside of me. And we've been together since our teenage years. I really don't mean to hurt her, but I need some time to be alone. But when you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Oh, how I feel so sad now that I want to leave. She's crying her heart to me. How could you let this be? That shit slap. Uh, that shit slap. I like that song. Okay. Um... But, okay, so I'm getting, this is the kind of dynamic you guys could have. This could be someone that you've been with, you know, for years, or you were with them, you know, like, you know, through high school, even a little bit after high school, and then, you know, it just kind of fell off, you know, but it didn't fall off. Please believe this person has been focused on you this entire time. It's just, they don't, they didn't know who they were, you know, but they were smart enough to tell you, you know, hey, <laughs> you know, I need this time. Or some of them couldn't have been, they could not have been smart enough to tell you, okay? Some people could have just, you know, did what you felt was just getting on and disappearing, you know, but they didn't get on and just disappear, you know. It's just they needed time to grow up. Just like you needed the, you needed this time to grow up. You know what I mean? You didn't know who you were yet, you know. Um let's see. Sweet a little did up diddy. <laughs> I don't mean to hurt you, baby. I don't think I could. I don't think I could just read it. <laughs> Never did I imagine that you would play a major part in a decision that's so hard. Do I leave? Do I stay? Do I go? I think about my life and what matters to me the most. Girl, the love that we share is real, but in time your heart will heal. I'm not saying I'm gone, but I have to find what life is like without you. Oh, Okay, I think that's enough. Spirit says that's enough, okay? That's enough for y'all to get the vibe, okay? This is what was going on, okay? They're just like, I'm not saying I'm gone, you know what I mean? They might have even tried to come back around, you know what I mean? And try to tempt you, try to be around you, you know what I mean? Try to entertain you, but it's like, it's like they just couldn't. Honestly, this person don't want to play, you know, in your energy. They don't want to play with you, okay? They don't want to play with you. They want you to realize that they look at you as the whole thing, okay? You are the only cup in the world that matches this person's cup. You know what I mean? And they realize and recognize that shit, okay? Now, Paper Planes. And I was laughing at the contrast of the energies of the two songs, you know what I mean? Because, you know, where I want to be is like, you know like some des some decisive type of shit you know what I mean like really deep in the love energy you know but it's like it takes a type it takes real emotional maturity to be like you know 
I never thought I would have to pick between you and getting my life together, you know what I mean? But and to be, you know, man enough or woman enough, woman enough to be like, hey, I need this time so I could go on and go get this money, you know what I mean? Get build up whatever it is that I need to build up, you know what I mean? Hopefully you're over there building up, getting your shit together, you know what I mean? So we could come back together and we could, you know, really b- give this shit a real true chance. Cause like, just think about it, like. Back in the day, shit didn't have a real, you know what I mean? Before you are where you are right now, like shit really, there really was no real chance, okay? It would have just been more bullshit. It would have been that real nasty karmic energy, you know? And, you know, but right now you're standing your ground. You're like, no, okay, look, let me read Paper Planes before I get, before I get too far into it, Okay. Because paper planes is important too, okay? You know, I fly like paper, get high like planes. If you catch me at the border, I got visas in my name. If you come around here, I'll make them all day. Get one down in a second if you wait. Um, sometimes I think sitting on trains. Every step I get to, I'm clocking that game. Everyone's a winner. We making our fame. Bonafide hustler, making my name. It's like, that's where you're at right now. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just out here trying to get this money. You know what I mean? It's like, you're no longer... It's like, if this was you in that where I want to be energy, you know what I mean? (laughs) Then you're no longer there, you know what I mean? It's like right now, but I don't feel like this was that. I feel like this was the other person, you know, trying to figure out where they want to be, where they want to go, you know? You could even be someone who's always kind of known where they want to be, where they want to go, you know what I mean? You could have had a family that did their job, you know? (laughs) Although a lot of us have, you know, like karmic ass families, you know, that are here to teach us certain lessons, you know? Some of you had that support, you know what I mean? That some of some of you have like, you know, that parent that supported every single little artistic idea and every, you know, like they let your psychic just fly, you know, they didn't bother them. OK, and, you know, right now I'm getting the energy that you're in this like, you know, I'm trying to get it, you know, like you're not worried about nothing. You're on your hustle. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look, all I want to do is uh, 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 and a uh, and take your money all I want to do is okay pirate skulls and bones sticks and stone and weed and bongs running when we hit um lethal poison for the system no one on the corner have swagger like us hit me on my banner prepaid wireless we pack can deliver like UPS trucks okay already going hard just pumping my gas <laughs> I feel you, because that's where I'm at, too. Like, I'm going hard at the gas station, nigga. I'm going hard (laughs) at whatever I'm doing right now. So I understand that, you know. And it's like, I don't know. Spirit's like, whoever you you thinking that this is okay you're right about that okay like and you could be feeling like this is all too much like mm -mm, that person had way too much childhood trauma you know and you like I can't I can't make you happy like I can't make you happy but I want you though (laughs) with the sexual desire I just bit my lip okay but I want you though because you're sexy you know this could be someone you're like super attracted to you know what I mean but you got tunnel vision spirit saying you're gonna have to open up that tunnel and make room for two in that shit because um somebody's coming in okay oh shit <laughs> somebody you're gonna start a family with okay hold on let me get it. <laughs> let me get the car <laughs> oh shit I'm dropping everything okay so family came out okay it says kids opinions judgment resolve family stress get support okay so you could be feeling like you know you don't have any support even though you got this tunnel vision and you know where you want to go and you know what you need and you know what you're trying to attract and all of that you know you could feel like you're not having any support through this spirit saying you're very supported you know what i mean you have family all around you and you're attracting a family you are attracting the shit out of a family if you're not already in one okay <laughs> if you are in a connection you know what i mean 
you could it this could be you and your partner you know what i mean you guys went through all of this you know but this is true love you could be having doubts you know that would be the only reason why you would be watching a reading like this you know what i mean but it is general so it's like you could be having doubts you need somebody needs to journal okay you guys need to write or somebody you guys could have used to like write letters to each other is what i'm getting <laughs> this is crazy that's why i was saying like that's why I did a pre-pool because I just really wasn't understanding like what the fuck was going on here, okay? But you guys have ascended, okay? Separately, y'all have ascended, okay? You guys learned y'all lessons. This is what y'all was doing. Y'all was off learning y'all lessons. I'm really not getting that this is a couple though, okay? I'm really getting like this is two people who haven't been together. If you are in a couple, okay, then this is why you're having doubts because you can feel that that's not your person, okay? You can feel that that's not your person even though that person is a great person, you know? It could be hurting your heart trying to figure out, you know, why is it that I don't want to be here, you know? Because this person hasn't really done anything, you know? They're loyal. They're are, I'm about to cry, bro. <laughs> I really feel emotional. They're loyal. They're stable. They do everything for me. They really love me. But I still want to leave. Oh, that's so sad, bro. I understand you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You could be feeling like really hurt about this, okay? Like really trying to figure out why it is that you want to leave this perfectly great person, you know? Like this could be someone who's always been good to you, always been good to your kids. And you could just be like totally torn trying to figure out, um, you know, which way you want to go with it. But Spirit's saying, you know, you're only going to hurt you and that person trying to hold on to whatever it is that you're trying to hold on to. I can't stop crying, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is how you're, someone is feeling, okay? Someone is totally torn between, this is why choices came out twice. It's like you're... You could even be having dreams about the person you're actually supposed to be with, you know, and you're looking for some sort of reason why you need to, you know, leave this person who's been so good to you for all these years. You don't understand why you're not happy with them all the way. You know what I mean? But spirit's saying don't hold on to that person and hold that person down. You know what I mean? If you know that that's not your person, Spirit's saying it's going to hurt, but you have to release that person, okay? Damn. <laughs> that just overwhelmed me, okay? Hold on. <laughs> Messing up my eyeliner and shit with your emotions, okay? You need to deal with that, okay? Um, it's not wrong for you to walk away from someone, you know? It's not for no reason. It's because you know deep down that that's not your person, you know what I mean? And you, you're you not releasing them because they, they did anything wrong. You're just releasing them because they're not your person. They have another person who they could be being that great and wonderful to. You're feeling so, somebody's feeling so guilty about this situation, you know what I mean? And you haven't even done anything. You've been totally loyal to them, you guys. This could be a situation where you guys could have built this life together, you know what I mean? And you're just not feeling it, you know? You're not enjoying it. You're not having fun anymore, and they're not having fun anymore either. Like, y'all gotta let this shit go, you know what I mean? So that you can ascend again, okay? This is what it's about, okay? Look, kids, opinions, judgments, resolve stress, okay? <laughs> because I wasn't getting it, okay? I wasn't getting it. I wasn't getting it. But this is what it is. You know what I mean? You know, it's like, yes, you're attractive. Yes, I need you. You know what I mean? But you're feeling like I can't make you happy, you know? And you're really not making me happy either. But you're just... <laughs> this is hard okay i feel that okay this is a hard decision to make you know but spirit's saying you need to go into your sacred space about this you know what i mean i've never been one to advise anyone to leave their situation because i don't know what's going on you know what i mean i don't know the ins and outs i don't know what y'all got going on and i don't know how your shit works so i would never tell you to just leave you know what I mean that's hating ass bitch energy all day long you know I would never tell you to just leave but if you don't feel it I will always say if you don't feel like this is gonna go anywhere you know what I mean that you're not really truly happy with this person that when you guys are together that you're like one 
you know, cohesive working operating thing, you know what I mean? Then you have to let that shit go, you know, and really get what spirit has for you, okay? Crossroads, okay? Divergent paths, choices, confusion, follow your intuition, okay? Spirit saying you need to follow your intuition on this shit. It's 1114, okay? Let me see. So 1114 is a call to action. It clearly tells us that the time for waiting and planning is over and that the time is now. It says we are all always only one decision away from a completely different life. Stop waiting for something to come along and start making things happen. Ooh. Okay, so turtle. Girls, you know you better. Watch out. Okay, so turtles. It says around the world, the tortoise or a t and or turtle can be seen as a symbol of wisdom and knowledge and is able to defend itself on its own. It can be regarded as personifying water, the moon, the earth, time, immorality, and fertility. Spirit's saying you can do this shit on your own. You feel like you can't do things on your own, but you are more than capable and extremely strong, okay? You can do this shit on your own. It's like, why stay in a situation where you feel like you're always standing your ground you know what I mean just because you put a whole bunch of work into something doesn't mean you know people so many people like inventors are a great you know example or entrepreneurs you know they put years of of time into things you know only to have that thing fail but it is not you know that project or that failure that makes a failure period it is accepting that failure and never trying again that's what makes you a failure okay but spirit's saying deep down you already know what you need to do okay you already know you already know what it is <laughs> the song said we can end that conversation with that right there <laughs> okay Money tree. Um, it says, ever since it was created in first planet in Taiwan, the main idea around the money tree is that this is a plant that signifies abundance, prosperity, and good luck. You are a money tree, baby. Okay. You, abundance, prosperity, and good luck follow you wherever you go. Okay. People associate this plant with strength, power, riches, and much fortune. Okay. Like, that's why you always straight, okay? Spirit saying they can make you a celebrity overnight. <laughs> you never know what could happen when you move the way that they're calling you to move. So this is why you feel torn because you feel spirit pulling you in a certain direction. But it's going to cause so much upheaval and you don't want to go there, you know? Spirit saying you have to just turn shit upside down, you know? Sometimes you got to prove to God you'll throw it all away for him. And then he'll bless you with 20 million, 100 times more than whatever it is that you were afraid to leave. Okay. Um, the mushroom. Mushrooms. Symbolism. Okay. I can see you doing and doing big things. So mushrooms represent God and Jesus in the Bible. This is a tradition that dates back thousands of years. Um, it says biblically the mushroom is seen as the God of the Bible and that the mushroom is Jesus. Mushrooms in spirituality often represent gods, okay? So you have this God energy, you know, all over you, like it's on you, like you're a fucking celebrity just hiding wherever you are. Come out. We want to see you. <laughs> OK, mushrooms symbolize decomposition and decay, though. Ooh. 
It says mushrooms symbolize decomposition and decay, longevity, um, antithesis for other artists like TJ Shin and Jamila McEwen and some other person, okay? <laughs> um, they make use of fungal species other than Lingzai species, okay? So I guess they use the fungal species of the mushrooms rather than, you know, the mushrooms that represent life in their art, okay? Which I really feel is, you know, kind of big, you know? You could be someone who tends to be attracted to people who, you know, basically are a fungus to your life instead of being someone who's bringing more life to your life, if that makes any sense, okay? It's a place of chaos, transformation, often a place of ancestors and it's tied to rebirth and the recycling of everything that has died, okay? Um, in ancient Egypt, mushrooms were a symbol of immortality and considered to be a great delicacy. Only royalty was allowed to eat mushrooms, okay? You're fucking royalty. Only you get to eat consume you know all of this energy and all of this information from god you and your divine counterpart and if you're in a situation you know where you sh feel you shouldn't be then it's a big ass indication that you probably shouldn't be there okay um buddha you have buddha in your energy okay he's calling for peace he's calling for peace in your life you know time you need to sit down and take time to yourself if you're watching this you need to meditate more okay um look into buddha and really talk to buddha okay it says a buddha is one that has attained oh you could be a buddha Okay, but Buddha is definitely in your energy. Okay, it says um, a Buddha is one who has attained both body and by body is meant wisdom. Okay, an ideal state of intellectual and ethical perfection, which can be achieved by man through purely human means okay the term buddha literally means enlightened one or a knower okay you're very enlightened you are a knower and you know when you're with the wrong person that's a bad quality to them they don't like that you are a knower they don't see what they could be using you they don't see the, how they could utilize you you know what i mean because you're a know-it-all come on I didn't I didn't dealt with that energy you know what I mean people like my past relationships they've always tried to make me feel like you know oh you know you think you know everything no I don't you know I just I couldn't explain to them before that that's my inner knowing that knows everything you know what I mean because I didn't know who I was yet okay so spirit's saying this is why okay people could have been treating you like that you know you could have even heard those exact words you think you know everything or you just oh you're such to know it all you know they mad because they don't fucking know nothing okay don't let that shit make you feel like you should know less fuck that <laughs> what what kind of shit is that what kind of person feels like it's a bad quality for you to know things like why don't you know more <laughs> so elephant okay So it says these gigantic majestic beings are traditionally considered symbols of good luck, nobility, wisdom, fertility, and protection. All across the world, the elephant has long been considered a sacred animal, although the spiritual symbolism of elephants changes slightly from culture to culture, okay? Also, you could be getting gain, regaining your memory, okay? Elephants are known for having a great memory, okay? They usually remember people. They remember people and shit, okay? They be knowing you. <laughs> but like, if you go meet an elephant, if you go back years later and meet that elephant again, that elephant is going to remember who you are, okay? Um, you could be remembering lots of different details in your life, okay? Um, Spirit's just asking you, like, to say yes to them, okay? It says the answer to your question is yes. <laughs> I don't know what your question is, but whatever you're asking, Spirit, the answer is yes, okay? Um, it says romance, revel, flow, savor, entice. Open yourself to romance, okay? 
you need to open up yourself to this love spirits trying to bring you in okay spirits trying to bring you in someone that you need okay <laughs> um okay I'm trying to I'm really trying to get through my notes okay so I can just handle the cards and I don't want to have I don't have to stop so 727 I mean 767 but we're gonna read 727 727 is a sign to focus on yourself now is the time to think about what you want out of life who you want to be and what you want to do you have gained enough experience and you have gone through many obstacles but you have succeeded and won okay you've already won this fight you're you think you're having it's already been one you know what i mean that's how god that's how amazing god is you know any issues any problems any thing you think you're coming up against it's already been handled in the spirit and when you realize that you know what i mean it makes life a lot more easier that's why they say surrender surrender to spirit okay let them work because they work the best okay <laughs> don't nobody do it better than god i'm trying to tell you <laughs> okay um 767 is a message from the angels that your strong connection with the spiritual and angelic realms has brought you new insights. You know, you're seeing things a lot different right now, you know, noticing things you never even seen or noticed. OK. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This song, though. Hold on. Okay, I had to really blow my nose after all of that damn crying. Jeez. Well, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. So in this song, because I was, Spirit had me like jamming out, okay? They had me add a lot of shit. By the way, I don't own the rights to any music you may hear in this video. I probably waited too long to say that. <laughs> um, and then day people... This is clearly tripping because. Yes, thank you so much. And every day, people. So he was chilling at the park, you know, with his chick, minding his own business, you know. The chick basically walks up, you know, and she comes and chills, you know what I mean? And. You know, they're just chilling, talking, you know, and there's, he said, what did he say? He said, until a group of brothers started bugging out, drinking 40 ounce, going the nigga route, okay? It says, disrespecting my black queen, holding their crotches and being obscene. At first, I ignored them because, see, I know their type. Um, they got drunk and got guns and they want to fight. And they see a young couple having a good time. Having a time that's good and their egos want to test a brother's manhood. So they came to the so they came to test speech because of my hairdo and the loud bright colors that I wear. I was a target because I'm a fashion misfit and the outfit that I'm wearing brothers dissing it. OK, um, well, I stay calm and pray the niggas leave me be. But they're squeezing parts of my date's anatomy. Why, Lord, do brothers have to drill me? Because if I start to hit this man, they're going to have to kill me. You see, I am everyday people, okay? Um, it says, I told these niggas, please let us pass. I said, please, because I don't like killing Africans, okay? <laughs> but he wouldn't stop. And I ain't ice cool. But I had to take the brother out for being rude. And I and like I said before, I was mad by then. I took three or four. Oh, it took three or four cops to pull me off of him. But that's the story, y'all, of a black man acting like a nigga and get stomped by an African. OK, it says you see, I'm everyday people. OK, so it says the moral the moral of the story is you never know who you step into. You might be stabbed, shot, killed or hurt. It's not even worth it. OK, so you could be that type of person. OK, they don't know who the fuck they step into when they're stepping to you. I don't know how we got to this, but <laughs> that's what spirit wants you to know. You know, you have more power, more control, more everything than you think that you do. OK. That's not the top. This is a black queen. What am I doing? 927 is the next number. 
I don't know. Maybe people is trying you right now. But you're of great value. That's what spirit needs you to know. <laughs> that was the Greek meaning of 927. They just got me typing like whatever. <laughs> angel number. Angel number twin flame propped up. It says angel number 927 is said to represent a twin flame union or separation. This number is based on the belief that we have a soulmate or a twin flame. Okay, so you have a soulmate or a twin flame. Okay, whether you want to believe that shit or not, you do. You have one, okay? Because a lot of people, like, <laughs> I've seen this one post. One of these readers posted a post that said... Um, twin flame connections be like, you know, and it's just those little Kermit the Frog memes, you know, it's just like him by himself drinking tea, him by himself playing golf, you feel me? Like, yes, but that's the kind of, that's the kind of spiritual connection, you know, spirit expects you to have with yourself, though. Really, a whole relationship with you needs to be going on first before you get it to the point where you don't even want to leave you to go be with somebody else. You want to stay with you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Spirit's working on bringing you in something that is going to be absolutely amazing, you know, and sometimes it means walking away from something that you already know and, you know, have deemed safe and, you know, walking into the unknown, okay? So angel number 882 brings a message from your angels that your financial and monetary needs will be met in miraculous ways, okay? So if you're having money worries, your money is fine because you are the fucking money money okay you take the money money prosperity it follows you luck follows you wherever you go okay you might walk away with nothing thinking you broke you feel me you got your last five dollars go buy a scratcher you win 10 million you never know okay you never know what the fuck spirit got planned for you you just have to listen to them okay um it says the symbol of angel number 117 is a powerful message of hope and support from your angels. They are reminding you that you are never alone and that they are always with you. You have a good spiritual alignment and a good guardian spirit. So it's like, you don't, don't be worried. You know what I mean? I think that's really what they're getting at. Like, stop. Do not be worried. You don't have anything to worry about, baby. We got you. We right here. You can't see us, but we're here. It says angel number 4334 is trying to tell you that you're loved and supported by the angels. They're with you every step of the way and want to help you achieve your goals. The number also encourages you to stay positive and stay optimistic no matter what life throws at you. Like I said, you over here and you standing your fucking ground. You know what I mean? So just keep doing that, okay? Spirit's saying you're not alone. <laughs> you're not alone, okay? That's why you keep feeling all of these <laughs> through all the drama, baby. You are never alone, okay? Spirit is right there, you know what I mean? And spirit will instigate some drama to get you away from some shit, too. Let me tell you that. Look, it says, I can't promise you anything, okay? Like, nothing is promised. And none of this shit promising. None of this promise. You just have to make it, okay? Make it what you want it to be. You may think I don't care. Because I've never... Wait, because he said, I've been a rover here and everywhere. And friends tell you bad about me. They never get... They never get saying good. Wait, <laughs> they never get saying say good, but one thing I think about, you always do as you should, and that's why if I don't, if I don't have you, then for me, there'll be nobody else. Somebody feel like that about you, okay? Maybe drugs and alcohol is a huge factor, you know, in the way you're making decisions right now. Spirit's saying you might need to slow down, slow down on that, okay? It says, I don't want to be who I used to be. Um, you deserve better, okay? So somebody is trying to get their shit together for you, okay? They don't want to be, they don't want to bring that same whack-ass person they brought to you the first time. They know you didn't deserve that. They're trying to get it together, but are you going to be open and ready for them when they come? Trying to get, trying to give you back what, you know, <laughs> what you, like... Are you going to be, are you going to realize, okay, this is a new person, you know what I mean? Because sometimes it's just like you, you're walking around a whole new person from who you used to be. 
Okay, some people don't even know you. They don't know what to expect from you. They talk to you thinking they're going to talk to the old you. And when you open your mouth, you're a totally different animal. Okay, and so Spirit's saying you need to have, you need to be looking at people with fresh eyes. Okay, it says, will you leave me like the others? So somebody's mm, worried that you're going to leave. Oh my goodness. It says, I can't come to you now, okay? So, I don't know. Maybe Spirit's holding back somebody from coming to you. Or maybe they're just not done. They're not done, okay? Your twin. Some of you guys are twin flames. They need more time, okay? It says, what do you see in me? They need more time and they need more confidence, okay? Because they don't see what other people see in them yet. Which means they're not loving themselves wholly and completely yet. You know what I mean? It's like when you truly, truly love yourself and you know who you are, you know what people see in you. You know what they want. You know what they're attracted to in you because you are aware of the fabulous and amazing qualities that you possess, okay? Spirit's like all over the place with this. <laughs> but as I said before, I love when they talk like this, you know, because they cover a lot of different bases, you know, that I wasn't expecting to cover. <laughs> oh, let me see. Shark spirit, okay? Clearer perspective is what you need. You need to be see. You need to see things. I mean, it's like they're saying go deep and see it from a higher perspective. You know, you can do both. You know, a lot of people run from the emotion of things. You know, that's what this drugs and alcohol is about. You know, do not. I mean, I'm not saying don't, <laughs> you know, you're grown. You can do whatever you want to do, but try not to. Um, what is the word? I'm, look, I'm looking for a specific words here. OK, try not to dim I guess that's not the word I'm looking for though I, I really it's bothering me okay spirit what is this word okay they're not telling me nothing okay fresh creative joy is what you need to have though drugs and alcohol you know they dim your 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 perception of things you know especially alcohol is like the worst you know I used to drink so much you know but now I only drink every now and again and honestly I enjoy it that way you know it's better okay I like having a clear head you know what I mean knowing where I'm going knowing what I'm on you know and spirit saying you need to just spend more time with yourself okay really figure out what do you want where do you want to go so you can make this choice from a clear responsible place okay you need to make choices from you know your head and remove yourself from the emotions of it all you know what I mean like yes it hurts yes it's sad and all of that you know but that's all surface level shit you know what I mean on a deeper on a deeper level you know what I mean why is this not good for me why you know what I mean ask spirit questions they will answer you pay attention to the numbers you're seeing okay this says kundalini sea queen command self-resilience okay so this is what they're asking you to do. You know, they're asking you to remove and change certain things in your life so that your kundalini energy can start to rise. OK, and then you'll gain a better understanding of the past. OK, um, that's period like. You know, you never really truly understand it. You know, it's like you go through things and then you get the lesson. You don't just go into it already knowing what the fucking lesson is. If that was the case, we would all pass. That's like taking a test that you already got the answers to. It's it's cheating. OK, so spirit saying, you know, we're not cheaters. We do our shit the hard way for a reason. OK, so that you can have morality. So when they put big shit in your hands, you can handle that big shit the way you know what I'm saying? The way it's meant to be handled and you won't squander it from a place of, you know, self-hate or, you know, um, immaturity of spiritual immaturity. You won't waste what they're giving you. OK, you'll know what to do with it and you'll put it in the right places. OK, <laughs> to help not just you, but to help others. OK, so see goddess of self mastery embodiment. You know, they're asking you to embody you. All that is you. Like, figure out what that is and then fully embody that shit, okay? Just let it fly around and just, you know, I, oh, don't worry about who is intimidating, who is scaring, who it bothers. That's not your problem. That's a them problem. 
Um, it says cultivate creativity. Yes, cultivate the creativity within you. You know, the more you create, the more time you're spending with yourself. Okay, so if you're an artist or something like that, you know, they're saying don't <laughs> celebrate romance. Just fell off the back. Okay, you about to celebrate some romance, whether you want to or not, you know, um, but they're saying just like, don't stress about it. You know, like I'm single. OK, I'm single. I'm and I'm not stressing about when is somebody going to come along and <laughs> save me from this singleness. No, I love myself. I love like I've never, you know, looked so good, felt so good, you know, just operating from me, you know, like so much like I have realized I'm capable of so much shit, you know what I mean? Like, but I mean, I've always known this, you know what I mean? I have always, like, had my hands in all kinds of different things, you know what I mean? And and still been able to maintain in some type of way, you know? So, just get it, fall in love with yourself, okay? And while you're in the middle of falling in love with yourself, somebody's going to come along. Or you could be right smack dab in the middle of being in love with yourself right now and just could be having doubts about you know when's love gonna come spirit saying there's a big light initiation coming to you okay um you excuse me some of you are great teachers excuse me some of you are great teachers and you're going through awakenings okay you're you're questioning your entire reality because now is a time for major growth for you. And that's kind of what uh, spirit does, you know, like, oh, my gosh, I could never begin to explain to you how they work. And not only that, they work differently with every single person. You know what I mean? So just that's why I keep saying just follow them, listen to them. OK, they know what they're talking about. They will have you standing up right. OK, um, it says stars aligned, remembering home and soul family. OK, like I said, um, they, they did pull out the elephant for you. You know, you could be starting to remember lots of things and it could be making you miss things. You never really you feel like you never really had you know but you can't miss some shit you never had okay your soul is missing <clears throat> your soul is missing things from its past life okay you need to um do there's some integration going on that's what's going on here okay um spirit's saying you're going through a higher heart activation right now okay um and that you need to Drop the shields, okay, um, and open yourself to divine love. It says your heart is healed, okay. So if you're you were going like I was just crying for y'all, okay. <laughs> Somebody is sad, you know, and you don't have to be sad, babes. I know it's heavy, you know, but they're saying go through the emotions, okay. You know, after I got done crying, you know, I didn't stop. I kept going. <laughs> I kept going while I was crying, okay. And I delivered this message, you know, and spirit saying that's how you need to be in every situation. Yeah, it can get a little emotional, you know, shit happens, but keep going, you know, you're having all of these activations, your third eye, it says Stargate heart, I am presence, okay, look, <laughs> Stargate heart, I am presence, okay, Shambhala initiations, okay, um, they're saying, they're asking you to retreat to recharge, okay, halls of a minty initiation, secrets revealed, treasures uncovered, okay, you're going through a major initiation right now, I thought this was about love, but obviously, they just... It, it kind of was it is though you know what I mean but it isn't it is about the love of yourself you know what I mean in order to attract the love that you want you know so deeply you know you could be thinking about these old people and trying to figure out you know oh, I have so many choices so many people to choose from spirits saying when are you going to just choose you like if you don't want to love you why would anyone else come in and love you too like People are going to treat you exactly how you treat yourself, okay? Makurba activation, the trans transcendent ascension, you are rising up, okay? So you're rising up. Rising up feels a lot like getting torn down. Trust me, I know. But you're fine, okay? You're following the sun, okay? You're receiving abundance, an abundance of downloads, okay? <clears throat> Spirit saying sun gaze okay sun gazing is really good okay it helps that's kind of what i did at the beginning of this channel journey i 
this channel journey, I spent a lot of time waking up really early, okay, um, and sun gazing. That's the whole reason why I got the schedule that I got now, you know, of waking up because I wasn't waking up early as fuck. What? I was waking up like in the middle of the day, you know, with no time to do nothing. Like if, if you look back, some of my videos, you know, were in the evening because I was not getting up. I was not getting up like you have to get up early, okay, and do things, okay? Start getting up early, or that might make you feel better, okay? Get up, sun gaze, you know, make you some tea, make you some coffee, do a little bit of yoga, whatever. Whatever it is that gets, that, you know, gets your blood pumping, you know? You can turn on music and just dance, you know? That's meditation, too, okay? <laughs> um, but, yeah, Spirit's saying you need to spend more time with yourself if you want to attract the love that you deserve, okay? So, with that, I am done. <laughs> I'm going to do the next one. I will see you later. Have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day. And I will see you later.